are going to our entire ESPN crew. I'm Joel Myers. Thanks for joining us. Let's go to Oklahoma City now and join Bob Carpenter and Digger Phelps. Gentlemen. Joe Smith has just hit one out of two free throws for Maryland. We welcome you to Oklahoma City. Digger Phelps, Bob Carpenter, and it's Maryland off to a quick 4-0 start. X re hip with a three, and Smith with a free throw. Sooners get it down, but Jeff Webster can't roll it home. It's tipped out of bounds by Maryland, and Oklahoma will have it back. Rhodes and Simpkins, the Maryland guards. Joe Smith, the big fella in the middle, flanked by Booth and Hip. Anches, the point guard for Oklahoma, one of their five junior college transfers, and he swishes the three. Quick press by Oklahoma, good outlet pass by Maryland. And makes it a 4-3 game, Ryan Miner with the steal. Sooners have numbers, three on two, he got it back from Anches. And that's the thing you got to watch. Even though you give them over half court, they still look to steal the ball over half court out of their press. Five unanswered points for the home team. Maryland, of course, 5-0. and oh. They've won four straight since the big win over Georgetown. Oklahoma coming off a good win at Oregon State Saturday when they had to come from behind to win 93-87. Third turnover now by the visitors. They'll set up some full court pressure. And they break it quickly with a pass ahead to Curry. Three on two. He'll kick to Webster. Taken away cleanly from behind. It looked like Dwayne Simpkins. He will transition and shoot the left-hander. This is the pace Maryland wants. They want to go full court. They want to have a running game. So do the Sooners. Anches to Webster. Missed it badly. Curry couldn't get it. X re hip did. And now they'll run four on three. Booth steps around minor, but he stepped on the baseline. Don't worry about any half-court offense. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see that right now. We're at the Myriad in Oklahoma City. A so-called neutral court about 20 miles from the Oklahoma campus. They play an all-college tournament up here during the holidays every year. Curry shoots Curry. threes. He's not afraid to shoot the threes. He has a green light on that. He hit a 28-footer at Oregon State the other day. X3 hit. Rejected. Ryan Miner. Curry to Anches. He's got Webster left side. Could have been goaltending. Gary Williams is upset. He thought it was goaltending. The ball was on the way down. Oklahoma capitalizes at the other end while Rick Wolko explains the non-call to Gary Williams. Big eight crew here tonight. Scott Thornley and Bill Kennedy joining Rick Wolko. Man-to-man -man press by Oklahoma. Full court. Johnny Rhodes breaking the pressure. Entry pass for Smith. Webster stands him up and he travels. Now what Oklahoma's doing in their press offense is throwing it long over the three players that are up front as you see now. Maryland's got to drop back as you see so they can't get the long outlet. And now they can stretch us. X-ray hip the second man getting there. On just diagonal and then it's switched over by Pete Lewis. Good hard work for the defensive rebound by Joe Smith, who's averaging eight a game. He's got some range. He'll shoot from out there. He, he shoots outside. He's not afraid to penetrate. He's a very, very good basketball player for a freshman at six foot nine. Hip out on top to Rhodes. He's their defensive specialist. Simpkins for Hip. This guy is exciting, but he's well short with it. And Ryan Miner clears the board. He finds himself open. No one picked him up in transition. He went to the foul line, dribbled out to the wing. The Maryland team just watched him. That's some backward pressure by Miner and the Sooners. Dwayne Simpkins breaking it. He will kick it out for Rhodes. Over Anches with an air ball. Curry the rebound. Sooners will run four on three. Anches back to Curry. Baseline left, a little short, Joe Smith with another. Simpkins kicks it, hit, offensive foul on the point guard. What Simpkins has got to do is stop at the foul line when you make that play. Great defensive strategy, step in, take the charge after he threw the pass. Maryland will bring in sophomore forward Mario Lucas when we come back after the timeout. The pace in this one, exactly as expected. And a little early controversy on that block by Ryan Miner. It led to two by Jeff Webster.
classic television. Hogan's Heroes. Green Acres. Arnold Ziff. Who played him? Nobody. He was the pig. Remember Family Affair? Mr. French. I loved him. Mm -hmm. He's attractive. Pete, Blink, Jude. Okay, Ginger or Marianne? Ginger was a bimba. Marianne. Marianne or Jeannie? Beachwood Age Budweiser. Jeannie. Crisp, clean, classic. It's decision-making time in New Britain, Connecticut. Wow, look at a socket set. You see, New Britain's the home of Stanley. What do you think? The electric stapler or the screwdriver set? And while it's no easy task... Glue gun? What glue gun? Making the best possible products all year long. Oh, yeah, moms love these things. It's even tougher deciding... I just don't know. ...which makes the best gift. Does he have a Stanley garage door opener? Doesn't everybody? Look for great gift ideas at the Stanley Gift Center at leading retailers. When they told him he didn't have the size to play, he reached inside and found the power. Starter. He was from a small... Illinois and Marquette, and again, the three-pointers working for Marquette. Rob Lofterman with another one. He had three in the first half, knocks this one down, and right now Marquette's lead is six with under two minutes to go. Back to Bob and Digger. All right, John Saunders, we're just four minutes in. Oklahoma's lead is uh, four. You're looking at a couple of guys happy we're not doing this game on radio. <laughs> the pace has been wild so far. Nothing but attract me. No half-court offense. Press full court no matter what. Run and gun, get the shots up. It's going to be a high, exciting game. Ryan Miner coming up big for the Sooners. Maryland has played very well under Gary Williams in games outside the ACC. Joe Smith, the freshman, threw five games, great averages. Oklahoma almost unbeatable downtown here in the state capitol. And Jeff Webster is the only man on the Oklahoma team with more than 10 games started in his career. A lot of JUCO guys have come in. Billy Tubbs doesn't rebuild. He reloads. He's got to win this game tonight. You know, they lost to Massachusetts at home about two weeks ago. You take that loss in the way the Big 8 Conference is playing this year in non-conference play. Last year, they got six out of eight teams in the NCAA tournament. Right now, the Big 8 Conference is strug struggling with outside conference play. Oklahoma team not forecast for much in the preseason polls. Oklahoma State and Kansas got all the attention. Both of those teams have been losers in the last week. And there's a turnover. Gary Williams' team has already turned the ball over five times. He'll, he'll live with that because you got freshmen and sophomores on the floor. That's going to be a problem. But you just stay with that because that's the type of game it's going to be. Both these teams could have over 20 turnovers. He gets back into shooting percentage. There's another one. Anches. And it's tipped out by Rhodes. Anches was looking in the left corner for Sean Alexander, who just checked in for the Sooners. Jeff Webster will play very, very well on the glass because Maryland has no one to challenge him inside. He had a big 35 points, 10 rebounds against Oregon State. Just one point off his career high. He might be the best pure shooter in the Big 8, and that's his second field goal of the night. Rhodes recovers. This is Maryland's 12th trip, 13th down the floor. In the previous 12, six shots, six turnovers. Little zone right now by Oklahoma. Maryland wasn't ready for it. Alexander was. Good timeout defense by Billy Tubbs. 14 to six Sooners ahead to Smith. Another big man with a great touch. But Sean Alexander clears the board, and the Sooners are off and running again. Miner rejected, but a blocking foul. And that will be number one. It looks like Joe Smith. It could have been Mario Lucas. It'll be Lucas. Pretty good transition. Reading the ball goes up strong. Gets it from the weak side. Great block by Smith. This is Smith's actual first road game. The Georgetown game was in Washington, D.C. All their games have been home, so it's going to be interesting to see how Joe Smith plays tonight for Maryland as a freshman on the road. Ryan Miner was a good freshman in the Big 8 last year. So Out Maryland of tiny doesn't have a, in Oklahoma. You know, about Maryland doesn't have the big center that we've seen like in a big eight, and neither does Oklahoma. But when you don't have a center, you press, and that's why Billy does it and Gary Williams does it, because they can extend it full court and try to get the turnovers. Oh. Oklahoma biggest lead by 10. Simpkins kicks it. A dribble drive, and then Smith with the rebound after the Mario Lucas miss. And it'll be Anches asking for the jump ball.
but getting the foul. Well, when you're 6'9", don't bring it down so a guard can get a piece of it, no matter if it's a jump ball or not. Look at how dapper he is tonight. Wow, is he in the Digger Dapper contest? He's fighting Roy Williams and George Raveling for top dog. Nice well, the, outfit. The Big A's struggling, but they have two of the three best-dressed coaches. And off the miss, Webster had it taken away by Smith. Ryan Miner rejects him. That's a 6'7 sophomore rejecting the 6'10 freshman. They go at it again, and Smith wins this time. See, I like his intensity. He just keeps going after you, but now the guards are going to get back quicker. Alexander hitting the bottom of the glass. He's triple teamed. Still scores. See what happens when Maryland presses, their guards are up front, but if you score quick, get it down quick, this is what happens. Now you get another turnover going the other way. Off the hands of X3 hit on the pass from Lucas. And Maryland is really coughing it up here in Oklahoma City. When these two teams met last year, the shooter Sooner shot 35%. They were only 4 of 20 from three-point range. But a veteran Maryland team took care of the ball much better. Maryland needs just to settle down a little bit and get some good shots so they get back in this. Webster from Alexander. No shot. Kicking to Anches. Rebound Alexander. Nothing there. Anches will penetrate. Waiting. And he was blocked by Smith. Maryland down by 10. He played six and a half minutes. In the one three one zone. That's all Oklahoma's playing right now. And, and Maryland hasn't seen this yet. And this is why the ball's flying around. Oklahoma's gone to a little more zone this year. Rogue short with it. Minor a touch. Lucas underneath. And it looks like an Oklahoma foul. What that zone will do, will take Rhodes out of the game and Smith out of the game and force the perimeter shot and then go to the glass out of the zone because Maryland doesn't have a strong offensive front line as far as size. And Digger, you have to know that what happened last Wednesday night in Lawrence, Kansas, sent a zone message around the Big 8 to the Big 8. The Easter teams will pick up because Temple did it even though Massachusetts didn't. There are teams in the Big 8 talking about playing more zone now after what Temple did to Kansas at Allen Fieldhouse. Billy Tuff said he'll do it this year. He did it last year in one and one. Great ball movement. Joe Smith from X3 Hill. And the freshman Smith has five early ones. That gets it back to eight. And he's guarding Webster inside. That's a pretty good matchup. Ryan Miner deal, dueling with X3 Hip away from the ball. And, and Hip will get his first. He and Johnny Rhodes made the All-ACC freshman team last year. They have some unbelievable young talent on this team. Very good basketball team that Gary's put together. They've gotten through the probation period. He's been patient. The fans have been patient. And this team's going to be a surprise in the ACC. Hey, how about Ryan Miner? He averages 11 a game. He already has nine, seven and a half minutes in. Well, that's why Maryland, Billy Tubbs even said, this team's still a mystery. He thinks by the middle of January they'll have their identity. When you have all the junior college players, it's a new system. It takes a little longer to catch on. Lucas, offensive foul. And that'll be two on him. Gary Williams not happy with some of the calls slash non-calls so far. Non-calls. you got to be consistent both ways. And I think when you look into a game like this, especially on the road, you try to establish what you can get from the officials early in the game. And a great story onto the floor. Ken Conley totally had his knee reconstructed back on July 15th. He was playing pickup games 90 days later. Ryan Miner on the miss. What are we in there? Smith. They Sooners get a little bigger when Conley comes in to play that five spot. Great work there by Pete Lewis. Almost got the steal for the Sooners, but Maryland will have it back. And Billy Tubbs takes his turn. Well, that's <laughs> that, there's a reversal on the call. Gary Williams is really upset. It does go off a Maryland player. Let's take a look. Right there, loose ball. Last one to touch it. Watch his back. I don't know. Could have gone to Lewis. I wonder Gary's upset. Deion Barnes in there, a left-handed point guard for Oklahoma. He'll give off to Pete Lewis. Barnes looking for Conley. He's got Smith on his back. He did a quick turnaround. He's played one game. That was against UMass when he had 21 points and 10 rebounds. He's had the 
chicken pox ever since. Hasn't been able to play. And at the other end, it'll go back to Maryland. Timeout on the floor. The pace is dizzying so far. We have a timeout. Where to get the hottest video games for Christmas? Ask an expert. He'll say Blockbuster. If you're really into Nintendo, you'll flip for Domino's Pizza's $25 million Super Mario All-Star Instant Win Game. With every Domino's order, get a free Instant Win Game card. A chance to win thousands of special power set prizes from Domino's like Super NES, Game Boy Systems, and the new Super Mario All-Star Game. And now, buy our new crunchy Thin Crust Pizza and get free Twisty Bread. So, if you're into Nintendo and great pizza, call Domino's for... Something for nothing when you call Domino's. Listen. See the future. See it now. Say it. Seiko. Seiko. A spark. To have. A flame. To hold. Seiko. Beauty in motion. Advanced towards precision. A vision. Seiko. The future of time. Feel like finding video games is harder than playing them? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. The Holiday Gift Center at Blockbuster. They've got great games and great prices. Then just ask your kids for lessons. So take care of everybody on your list. Make it a Blockbuster holiday. Oklahoma leads by 12 early in this one. You know, Billy Tubbs, you know exactly where he stands. So does USA Today and the Daily Oklahoman here in Oklahoma City. He is tired, he says, of some of the things about the Big Eight. And talk to us about it as well. I think in this day of time, everybody has to look for a new place to go because if you don't, you're going to be left hole in the bag. Three schools in our league would like to move out to the Big Ten, to the Pac-10. Uh, I think the Southwest Conference is the place for Oklahoma. We'll be there tomorrow. If not sooner, he added before we turned off the <laughs> microphone. But... Uh... Well, the other thing is, why not play the first, second round? It's going to be here this year in the NSA tournament, but why not play the Big Eight championship tournament here this year? Because you're going to end up with a team, possibly for the Mideast to the Midwest. Well, Billy upset because that tournament is played every year at Kemper Arena in Kansas City, 40 miles from the Kansas campus, closer to Kansas State and Missouri to the other remaining Big Eight schools. Rhodes, and unable to hit the follow is Keith Booth. There's Smith with the turnaround. He he's has got some touch. He, he's got to be on the all-freshman team this year around the car. I've never seen a kid step up and step out the way he has. He already has seven points and eight rebounds. Barnes missing the three. Long rebound, Lewis. Guards have got to get more active getting those long rebounds from Maryland. Maryland got the block. Oklahoma gets the steal. Long shot, long rebound, especially on the threes. This rim is hard. So your guards have got to be more active looking at the foul line for defensive rebounds. Barnes draws a double team. Somebody's got to be open. Alexander for Lewis, and he drills the three. Pete Lewis, a senior who played at New Mexico Junior College before becoming Oklahoma's best man-to-man -man defender last year, and here he is drilling for threes. The three for eight on threes right now, and they're not afraid to throw them up because they get the offensive rebound on a missed three, so it's like getting another possession. Oklahoma's biggest lead now, 13. We're 20 seconds away from the halfway point of the first half. Rhodes standing and waiting, short with it. Booth skied, and there he is again. Joe Smith with nine. Now you know why they had the game against Othello Harrington in Georgetown. Ryan Miner missing. And a rebound in there for Keith Booth. Maryland just needs a little six-point spurt here, and they're right back in this game. Simpkins right by Lewis. Got the roll. Basket by number 10, Dwayne Simpkins. Once you cut it from double figures to nine, anything can happen. That's a walk. Yeah, slid on the floor. There's ice under the floor, and it looks like Barnes took a little skate that time. We've got more coming up for you tonight. Idaho goes to Washington State to take on the Cougars. Steve Fiziak and Coach Terry Holland will join us for that one. Live from Pullman, midnight Eastern on ESPN tonight.
Smith picking up the offensive rebound, and the freshman into double figures. Well, this is the spurt we talked about. Maryland's back in it. There's a booth foul at midcourt. You talk about that Washington State game tonight. They've got two great wins already. They upset Marquette when they were ranked. And over the weekend, they beat Alabama. Now Washington State becomes a factor in the Pac-10 race to see if they get three or four teams into the NCAA tournament. Well, Arizona, everything is power ratings of your conference this time of the year. Arizona looking good, beating Oklahoma State in Phoenix the other night. And on the inbounds play, X re hip. And that'll be his second. And you're going out next week to see a very good UCLA team where Jim Herrick is now starting to bring in the best West Coast recruits back into Pauley Pavilion. Well, Charles O'Bannon was there, gets his brother Eddie to come, and that's why the recruits went to UCLA this year to play with Eddie next year. Anches looking for some room, and he bounced it right past Conley. Well, Maryland's got that 6 nothing spurt in the last minute and a half. Now they get a possession again, and this is what's made this game interesting because if you play spurts, you're in it and you're out of it. But what you don't need is that long turnover outlet pass. Got a break to the ball. He couldn't run then because on a violation, you can't move up, taking the ball out of bounds. And Gary's upset because no one came back to meet it. In 10 and a half minutes, 12 turnovers now. Yeah, but Maryland's only down seven, even with the 12 turnovers on the road. So that means shooting percentage is the factor. Points off turnovers. Barnes receiving it, looking for Anches. Juco transfer out of Hutchinson, Kansas. Good feed to Webster. When he hangs like that, he seldom misses. But it rimmed out on him, an X-ray hip. We'll get it to Simpkins. It's interesting seeing Conley and Webster play now in the front line. That's the type of people that Tubbs likes in the game, especially to dominate the inside game as well as rebounding. Nick Bosnick in there for the first time. He's got it left side, looking for the three. Long with it, Booth keeps it alive for the Terrapins. They'll get a fresh 35. Bosnick is a good three-point shooter, and he also can play the point when Simpkins is in the game. Boy, he had some great minutes against Georgetown. Helped to keep them in it late. Here's Anches transitioning. He keeps it. Webster, offensive rebound. And he drew a foul after he came back down. Looks like Simpkins was pawing away, trying to rip that ball out of there. And that'll be his second. Now let's call out to Wayne Simpkins of Maryland. Different approaches, coach, building the rosters of these two clubs. Well, here's what happens with Maryland. You get four freshmen coming in, Oklahoma brings in two. Junior college transfers, none for Maryland, five for Oklahoma. It'll take longer, believe it or not, for, I think, Billy Tubbs to have this team, as he says, by the middle of January because of terminology and style of play, because they're from different coaches. When you get freshmen coming in as freshmen, you know you got them for four years, just a different type of approach. And Maryland, I think, this year will be the surprise of the ACC. Jeff Webster's free throw shooting has been rather mediocre so far for Oklahoma. There's Booth turning around and facing Webster. And Jeff put the knee into him, and that'll be his second foul. There's a guy who has gone about his business in quiet fashion for four years, and four could be the magic number. If he doesn't have injuries this year, he could wind up the number four all-time scorer at the University of Oklahoma. And that's saying some of the players they've had. Matt Kovarik is in there to help out a guard for Maryland. Oh, look at that rejection. Way up there is James Maiden. Wow. He was a Juco All-American at Lon Morris in Texas last year, and that's his fifth block of the season. Watch this. Ball goes inside. Pretty good move. He goes up strong, gets by, but look at this. From the weak side. Great block. Rhodes with a strong turnaround. Booth boxing out Maiden very well. And Webster didn't even jump to get that block. Good hustle by him. He's taped it. Rhodes, offensive foul. He had position. He stepped in and he lunged. If he stopped and went up straight, he wouldn't have gotten fouled. Watch this. Good penetration, but stop and go up straight. Defense is there, and he lunged into him. Good call by the officials. It was a charge. Eight team fouls on Maryland. Almost eight minutes to go before halftime, and Oklahoma has it by seven.
This holiday season, protect your home and your family with a Home Guard security system from Washington Energy Services. Call Washington Energy Services today at 1-800-398-HOME and get 10% off any Home Guard security system. Not necessary to be a gas company customer. Too much of life is based on limitations. At Atomic Ski, we encourage you to break down the barriers and experience the possibilities. Stop by the finest ski shop this side of the Rockies, Moxie's Ski and Sports in Kent, your specialty ski shop. Conductor of the show. But well, we can't only throw out opinions. I mean, we have to have facts that kind of mesh with those opinions. And I don't mean theatrically conducting an orchestra. I mean conducting as in conducting a train. We have to somehow bring all these people together. Taking people's fares. All these people who have different opinions. Throwing the drunks off. Everybody wants to throw theirs in. And pulling the emergency cord. Keith and Susie, sports night. Providence against Villanova. Nova with a one-point lead. Time is running down. Abdul Abdullah finds his way into the paint, reverses and scores, and Providence knocks off Villanova at Nova. Back to you. Well, one of those tough little places to play in that big five up in Philly. See, I'm glad I watched tonight because Saturday night I said Providence is going to be one of the sleeper teams and they flashed the score. They lost the pit. <laughs> and I just said, oh, okay. So tonight, but no, Providence is a good team in the Big East this year. Oklahoma with the basketball. Anches on top to Barnes. They go left side, Curry. Maiden high post for Webster. Good tip away by... Mario Lucas of Maryland. Anches will refire the offense. Shot clock down to 10. That's a minor miracle in this part of the Big 8. <laughs> this is the slowest we've seen all night. Anches driving. Shot clock at 4. Short with it. Webster keeps it alive. And Rhodes will outlet. x ray hip. Look out here. This guy is something on the break. Well, even though Maryland has a lot of turnovers, they're just staying into what I call good defense, forcing bad shots, getting the rebounds, and I'll tell you, it's been over three minutes since Oklahoma has scored, and that's what has allowed Maryland back in the game, even though they have a lot of turnovers. Keith Booth, his second foul. Now, the Terrapins have some fouls piling up here. They've got four players with two already. Georgetown over Miami by 14 tonight. St. John's Unable to do it against Pitt at home. Pitt's had a couple good wins Everybody this week for the Big East to start off. Providence and now St. John's. John Anches at the line. What Maryland does well, you know, even against Georgetown, they were behind double figures first half, second half, and they keep coming back at you. And that's a credit to Gary Williams giving these younger players the confidence. So to see this game right now, six or seven points after he was down double figures, they just stay with you. And that's, that's the experience getting more mature every game they play for Maryland. Anches, five points, four assists. He had 13 assists in that win at Oregon State on Saturday. Oklahoma's first points in a while. They're back up by seven with seven minutes to go. Rhodes couldn't hit the three. Rebound for Oklahoma's Calvin Curry, outletting to Anches. Gets it back from Lewis. They're looking for Webster. That's Anches' favorite target in there. Now Curry looks for Jeff. Good job of fronting him by Mario Lucas. And this helps Maryland when you have Oklahoma playing this kind of offense. Takes them out of their running game. Good defense by Maryland. And Maiden hit the bottom of the iron, got it back and was blocked. And the Oklahoma bench thought that one was on the well, way. Well, that, that balance is off for the one they miss at the other end, so now we're even. <laughs> That's one thing about officials, at least they're consistent. <laughs> Go by Rhodes was fouled by Lewis. That's why he was tripping as he let go of the shot. That'll be two on Pete. Well, the hoops keep coming at you on ESPN. The Wednesday Jam Session. Billy McCaffrey and Vandy hosting Wake Forest out of the ACC. ACC, SCC. And speaking of that league, the best team in that league and the number one team in the nation, Scotty Thurman and the Razorbacks. That has really developed into a great rivalry. 9.30 tomorrow. Nolan Richardson loves to go over to Memphis and bring players back to Fayetteville. So those are two programs that have a lot at stake. 
bragging rights and recruits when they play each other. Well, I love Wilson. I love Robinson as freshmen. Once they get about 20 games under their belt, as we saw the other night against Missouri, watch Arkansas when it comes time in March. They're going to really be the team to beat for the national championship. First point tonight for Johnny Rhodes, who's averaging 14. Good half-court traps now by Maryland. Conscious squeezing through it. Terrapins, Kavara coming up with it. Man open under the hoop. And they just couldn't find X rehip. Now Joe Smith dribbling all over the place. Well, that's not his job description to go through those people, but he got away with it. Looks like foul number three, and that's a starter, Pete Lewis. I'll tell you what, you go back about six minutes ago, we think this is going to be a blowout for Oklahoma. It's now six, shooting two. Joe Smith on the foul line puts him right back into it. What has happened? to Oklahoma is when you get that big rush and you jump out quick and you get cold, you need a player that's going to come back in and hit that outside shot. And that's what Oklahoma's searching for right now to get a three goal to get this attack going their way. Gosh, it took him 14 minutes to get a double-double. He's a surprise to everybody. I, I just love his confidence. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when he goes up against, say, Carolina or Duke yeah. inside that conference because of Cherokee Parks at Duke as a center, as well as what, what we know Montrose is, obviously, Eric Let's Montrose from North Carolina. But yet, if, if Gary plays the press full court, and that forces the rebounders and the big guys to play full court, you neutralize the size by pressing. Well, Othella Harrington was the Big East player of the year last year. And Joe Smith held him to seven field goal attempts in that overtime win by the Terrapins in Landover. Well, he is a cool freshman. Strokes it nice. Yes, he does. Now they're still right back into the press. We got the, a four-point game. And here's the half-court traps. Hunches finds Webster. Fouled. Scores. I'm telling you, Jeff Webster is showing some emotion. Over the years, he's not been the most demonstrative player here at Oklahoma, and he's taken some heat for that, but Good he is psyched about in. this one. Goes in strong, and he just gets there too late. Great move by Webster. That's Webster's strength when he goes up for the freeze, but at the same time, Smith can't afford to get in foul trouble. Maryland needs him tonight. Seven for Jeff Webster. Starter Dwayne Simpkins is back, and Keith Booth, a starter, is back as well. That was Joe Smith on the foul a moment ago. His second. And the layup by Webster broke the long drought. Then he got the conventional three-pointer. Sooners by seven. As we approach the 540 mark, first half. Don't forget our Delta Fawcett halftime report with John Saunders coming up. Indiana, a winner at home over Notre Dame earlier tonight on ESPN. Booth. Strong in the paint, way too strong with the shot, and Ryan Miner hacks Joe Smith. Look how he got that offensive rebound. He read the shot, had good position, went inside to score. I think Rhodes is going to step up. You know, when you take a look at this, watch the weak side rebound. Gets in position, gets inside of Curry, goes up strong, and draws the foul. Joe Smith, real good offensive rebound right there for him. But as I look at Maryland right now, even though this game's going the way it is, Johnny Rhodes has got to step up, number 15. He's a pretty good, solid player. I think Booth, once he settles down, that gives him more scoring. Rhodes, really excellent experience, a veteran, knows how to play this game. He'll be a factor before this game is over because of his way of playing the game for Maryland. Joe Smith figures to shoot a lot of free throws in his career. Great to see that kind of touch for a freshman. See, you never can knock Maryland out. This is why I like Gary Williams, the way he has these kids with total confidence. Lou Williams with a great look underneath to Jeff Webster. Webster has nine. Williams just checked in and gets the assist. Oklahoma with its seven-point lead back down to five minutes. Smith, their turnaround, and Ryan Miner gets his second foul in a hurry. Ryan Miner, quite a story. The small school player of the year in this state a couple of years ago. Out of tiny ham in Oklahoma. Big 8 wins one at Drake tonight. And leads at home against LIU. Iowa, the Big Ten, takes Northern by five. And Michigan State coming off a loss at Louisville winning tonight. How about Smith right now? He's five for seven in the field. Now, right now he's five for six in line. Hoping to go six for seven on the line. Early. 
with fifth, five minutes to go in the first half. Well, he's scoring better than a point a minute right now. Well, this is his exposure on ESPN. Two games, Georgetown, and now here he is out here in Oklahoma with at least 35 minutes left to play. And he's proven that he is a quality impact player for Maryland's team this year. He's on pace for 40 tonight. No, I don't think he'll do that. That's a minute. Score the rest of the night. Nice back to That's what's going to hurt him. Third five. Gary's got to take him out. See, that's the only thing as a freshman that's going to be a problem for him is the inexperience of playing defense. Good move. He goes over to help again. This is the second time he gets in foul trouble trying to help because understands up. Williams does a great job of drawing the foul by going up and into Smith. Smith's trying to block the shot. That's where he got his third foul. Still in there. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Now, there's a television timeout due in 47 seconds, but that could be an eternity for a guy with three fouls. Well, they might take it right at it. Two on the clock. I thought it was his third because he had two on the last time. We'll check it officially. Off the miss, Rhodes, Smith, Miner with a good steal. This is the spurt Oklahoma needs. John Anches, the point guard. Back to Miner. He can go outside. Webster crashes, but it's tipped by hip. Rhodes to Simpkins. Rhodes got a back. Great look. Boots. Nice play. Good touch. Very unselfish fast break by Maryland. The credit Rhodes for that assist, but Simpkins started it. Not just for Webster. Got to go at him. He can't follow you. Did he walk? Jeff to the 360 and traveled in doing so. Matt Kovarik returns to the Maryland lineup. Matt Kovarik is back in. Rhodes. Pretty good offense here in a transition. Rhodes kicks it. Touch play back to Rhodes from Simpkins. Touch play underneath. Slam dunk. Very good offensive execution by Maryland on the fast break. Simpkins for Kovarik. And his move. Step out the NBA three and uh, refire the attack here. And set your offense. Oh, oh. Simpkins falls. Miner has it. Two on one with Williams. Passed it behind him, and that's a blocking foul. I thought he did a pretty good job of stepping in for the charge. But I'll tell you, this floor sits on ice. Here's the fast break. No, he slid in the left leg. If he stood still, he would have forced the charge. But he got that left leg under him. Good call by the officials. Hockey is very big in Oklahoma City. Yeah, Central Hockey League, Oklahoma City, and Tulsa met for the Central Hockey League Championship last spring, and Tulsa got it. But they are packing them in down here. For over 10,000? Oh. This building, it just seats 14,000. And this court's on ice tonight. Sitting on the ice. Oh, you know, you'd go to Madison Square Garden, and by the time the night was over, you had frostbite, and you'd want to know what's wrong with your feet. But then you realize you're on the ice. You see the guys on the bench in the, in the uniforms, they're wearing sneakers. You're wearing leather shoes. Yeah, the difference. They're moving. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma by five. Holiday greetings from Budweiser. Flex control from Braun. The last word in Shavers. Well, Joe Smith's been doing it all in this game tonight. 17 points, 11 boards for Maryland. He's the reason they're only five down. There's some of his outstanding board work tonight, picking up some points. And we talked to him yesterday and asked him if he's surprised at that 21 a game so far. Yes, I am. I mean, I thought I was going to come in, you know, average. I mean, help the team out a little bit by, you know, like 12 or 13 points and, you know, a couple of rebounds. But um, I didn't expect to come in and average 21 points and eight rebounds. He averaged 21 and 14 rebounds last year at Maury High School, Norfolk, and he is outworking Jeff Webster, although they're really different kinds of players. Webster, not a power guy. Smith, his power personified. Very much so. Loves the finesse game. And when you look at Webster, he's got that move inside where he likes to go to the basket strong and yet still hit the board. Terrapins uh, break the Oklahoma half-court trap in good fashion. Went from zone press back into a straight 2-3 zone. Pretty good timeout defense by Billy Tubbs. Yeah, got to do something about the big fella. Simpkins kicks it left side. Kovarik. 
Right side, Roach says, I want it. And he shot that with authority. Can't leave him open against his zone. He's too good a player. That's his first field goal tonight. Well, he'll, he'll do more than that before the night's over. He's a very good offensive player. Took him 16 minutes and 45 seconds to get it. We saw sort of, sort of that last week with Headache Smith for Arizona State, remember? Yeah, that's right. Levy scoring a Pac-10, doesn't score for 38 minutes. Two-point game in the final three minutes now. Anches and a soft turnaround short for Webster. Here come the Terrapins, five on two. The whole team, and they only needed two of them. Look down the floor, quick off the home. When they send five up, you come back quick, you're going to score. Anches shoveling to Webster. Got the touch that time, and Jeff Webster has 11. See, because Maryland had five down, they had no one back, and that allowed Oklahoma to get down quick. you got to read your floor, floor balance when it's there so you don't get caught. Right now, Oklahoma trapping. Maryland's got to come back and meet the pass against the traps. Curry and Webster on the trap. Billy Tubbs hasn't always gotten the credit for his defense around here. He's been known as a 100-point scoring run-and-gun coach. Yeah, but they've always been solid defensively when it comes to the pressure. How about that? Ryan Miner. A steal, a slam, and a four-point lead with 2.20 to go. Plus the five-second counts on him. Kovarik on the inbounds. Ahead to Smith. He can dribble it a little bit. And now Simpkins there. Attack and score against pressure guy will run the offense. Oklahoma does that to you. They, they force you into that play where they get two easy points that you shouldn't give up. Rhodes for Booth. Back to Rhodes. Tried to go two for two. Here comes Anches. Webster the trailer. He'll set up high post. Looking for Conley down low, but uh, Big Joe's doing a good job on him. Conley does not have the mobility that he had before the knee surgery. Well, he's lost 10 pounds. His endurance may be down a little bit, and he's been sick. And, of course, with the knee, everything else has been going against him. But he'll get back into the group. Hey, you think this is Ryan Miner's night? Yeah, he's on fire. He had two guys to tip it in, and neither of them were needed. He has 13. Here's Rhodes. Smith into Conley. And a defensive foul. Good. John Saunders in the studio tonight with our Delta Fawcett halftime report. We'll show you Hoosier Irish highlights and some updates from the Big East. We've already seen a few highlights from that league tonight. Hey, did you teach those guys to foul that much when they're getting blown out, Coach? I've had a lot of games where I was blown out. <laughs> But, you know, you brought up a good point before. I think the Big H has really solid defensive coaches. Norm Stewart, forget what happened last week against Arkansas, but the reputation in this league, I think the defense has helped. When you take a look at Johnny Orr, or you take a look at Roy Williams, or even Danny Nee in Nebraska. Uh, Eddie Sutton. Eddie Sutton is one of the deans of it. And, of course, Roy Williams of Kansas. So I think the Big Eight really is solid defensively, and they're always solid offense. I think right now the league has just struggled the first three weeks. But I think once they get in the conference play, you're going to see what the Big 8 does very, very well. It's going to be defense as well as the running game for the teams that like to run. Well, a lot of new faces. Oklahoma replacing three starters. Kansas replacing four. Sooners have lost to UMass. Arizona got OSU. Nebraska's really been a disappointment, and the others have struggled. And last night, Colorado loses to an area rival. What this does is forces the Big 8, where last year they got six out of eight teams. They're going to lose two of those. They may only get four in this year if they get four in this year, based upon the power rating of those wins by the other conferences. Hunt just tried to take the charge. x ray hip traveled before he got there. 17 turnovers. Wow. And they're down four. Booth will take a seat, and for the first time tonight, we'll see Curtis Schultz who looks like he should be on the uh, Terrapin linebacking core in ACC football, 6'6", 235, a junior. He'll be out there to give the big guys a few breathers. Anches steps inside the arc on top to Conley. Minor back to Anches over Simpkins. Well short, and hip tips it to the man we just mentioned, Curtis Schultz. Simpkins, up, way short. Rebound, Lucas Miner took it away. Ryan Miner is doing it all for Oklahoma tonight. Tried to receive that pass. Schultz comes up with it after the tip. 20 seconds to go. Terrapins uh, in decent shape despite all the turnovers. They got a chance to be down by two, maybe only one at the half. Well, that's one thing. When Oklahoma forces 17 turnovers and they only have their 40 points, they're not getting those points they need off the turnovers, and that's part of the difference in the score, only be four-point differential. 
See, right now, Maryland, 17 turnovers. Points off turnovers. They only got six off Oklahoma's six, but look, at 10 points only off those 17 turnovers, that could be five field goals. And that's the difference right there. And that's why you're seeing a low-scoring game when you force somebody into those turnovers. Calvin Curry with that foul. It's 19 fouls. Make it 10 on Oklahoma. So Simpkins gets to shoot a couple. 8.8 .8 seconds to go before halftime. First freshman guard to make the varsity in high school history at that great program in DeMatha. Great coach, Morgan Wooten, one of the legends of the high school game. Simpkins with six. They'll shuttle in some defenses. Matt Kavara comes in and Simpkins takes a seat. Simpson's got four turnovers first half. Doesn't bother me because of the type of game we're playing. They're only down two points. He settles down and reacts better in the second half against the press. He won't turn it over as much in the second half. Down to three seconds. Anches looking for Webster. Did he get it away? He did, but it was well off. And this one will be close after 20 minutes of play. It looked like Oklahoma was headed for a first half blowout. John Saunders at one point, they led by 13. But Maryland hung around despite all the turnovers. And it's a slim two point lead here in Oklahoma City. All right, Bob and Digger, thanks a lot. We shouldn't be surprised that Maryland has done that. They've done that a few times this year, coming back from deficits. Georgetown in their first game of the year. Welcome to the Delta Fawcett Halftime Report. We have scores and highlights from other games, including the Georgetown Hoyas. And Illinois, the Fighting Illini, ranked in the top 20, but a loser tonight. We'll have that more when we return. ESPN's exclusive coverage of NC. Welcome back to downtown Oklahoma City at the Myriad Convention Center. And Oklahoma leads it by a slim two at the half. Welcome back to courtside. Bob Carpenter with Digger Phelps. I guess Joe Smith ought to be right here with us because he's the main story right now. Joe Smith has 19 of the 38 points that Maryland has, yet he also has the great moves to the basket. As you see, he goes one-on-one, -on -one, loves the ball fake, puts it on the floor, and goes up very, very strong. The other thing I like about him, he's got 11 rebounds plus three blocked shots in the first half, but watch how he reads the lane to go for an offensive rebound. Sees it, no one blocks him out, goes up strong again. This is why Maryland is in this game. It's 40 to 38, but understand something. Maryland has 19 turnovers, yet Oklahoma has not converted on points off turnovers, and that's why they're shooting 38% and this game is so close. Rebounding. Look at the edge for the visiting team. Yeah. The big guy has 11. Oklahoma only yeah, has 15. 15. <laughs> wow. he's, he's legit. We heard a lot about him. We saw him against Othello. Back against Georgetown, and Harrington had trouble with him. This kid's for real, and so is Maryland. Along with his 5 of 7 from the floor, he's 9 of 10 from the line. Ryan Miner was the Oklahoma story in the first half, but he can't knock that one down. Ryan Miner in the first half was 5 of 9 for 13 points. And there's another turnover as X3 Hip launched one. Just got to settle down. Didn't need that pass right now. You got to come out and get that quick score to get momentum going your way. And I think Gary knows that. He's just going to let these kids play. Even though the turnovers now are at 20, Maryland's still in this game. The down nine, two. The 19 that Joe Smith has in the first half, his biggest first half of the season so far. He's had some huge ones. Out on top, that's Calvin Curry, who's scoreless tonight for Oklahoma. He's in the upper part of your screen, number 44. He's averaging 16 a game. He is 0 for 4 from the field. Jeff Webster catches it. And would that be Smith on his back for number 3? That will be his third. Can't afford to get him in foul trouble. Out of bounds they play man-to-man, -man, but I, I just, if I'm right now looking at Oklahoma this early in the half, you may want to set up Webster again to let him go against Smith. Inbounds pass by Anches, tipped out by Dwayne Simpkins. Wes has been kind of quiet tonight. You know, he had 20 points in it, uh, 35 points in an upset up at Oregon State over the weekend. Very solid player. 10 rebounds against Oregon State, but 20 rebounds against Texas. He was 5 of 11 in the first half. Minor penetrating. Now he's 0 for 2 out of the locker room, and Webster has the rebound. That's Pete Lewis from Anches. Lewis feeling his way around the perimeter. That one well off. Minor a touch. So did Webster. Curry, and he finally scores. 
Very solid, steady player. Likes to shoot the threes, but Curry that time went in on the glass and got a good offensive rebound. If he gets into the game scoring-wise, he'll be a big help to Oklahoma. He's a big, vocal, inspirational guy, and Billy Tubbs thought that was a travel by Dwayne Simpkins. Maryland playing a little too quick in the press offense. Wait for the reversal and then drive with your dribble. Rhodes kicks it for Hip. Down low, Smith. Blows by Webster. Takes on Miner. Went by Webster and went up strong against Miner and went through him to get that basket. Very good offensive power play. And he has his average of 21, a minute 45 into the second half. Anches, they're going to let him go. He'll kick it for Webster. There's the touch. Anches wasn't convinced that Joe Smith wasn't going to show up there. <laughs> Here's Simpkins. Nice touch with the left-hander, and Dwayne has eight. Now we're back in the track meet. Now this would go this way for three or four minutes until somebody settles down into a negative scoring drought, and then we get the other team playing even again. The problem with Oklahoma opponents in the past is, by the time the Sooners settle down, they can rip off a 12 to 16 point run on Especially when they're at home. They just seem to wait and wait and wait. And, and if you get a little tired, and that's why substitution is going to be very key for Gary Williams with about eight minutes to go in this first half to see what, what endurance is still there for them. Ryan Miner keeps it going. Curry with a near steal. Both teams love the press, and they force the turnovers. Next three hip, receiving it, and then he'll give it to Simpkins. Oklahoma in the 1-3-1 now, looking to trap out of this. Nice kick into Smith. Good flats to the middle by Smith. Smith, very active, reads the open lane. I'll tell you, you know, he reminds me, the closest guy I've seen since that was Lenny Bias when he played for Maryland. Seven for nine in the field right now. Miner, tough catch, spins it home, and Miner has 17. He struggled the first two Oklahoma games, but he made some big plays in the closing minutes of the Oregon State game. That's a travel. And he's kept it going tonight. X-Ray right Hip there. is having a tough night. Well, Miner, one thing about him, he's very steady, knows his job description, but tonight he sees where he's had to step up, and he's done it for Oklahoma. And that gives Jerry, I think, when you take a look at Billy Tubbs right now, they have that balance. Hodges missing the three. Rhodes has it. After that last trip down the floor, 21 turnovers by the Terrapins. And one. Hodges hacks him. And one. Incredible. He doesn't look that strong, Bob. You know, I mean, he just goes to the hole. He goes up strong. Incredible year he's having as a freshman. That's his second personal baseline pass right here. Good feed to Simpkins. Find Smith on the wing. Watch him go up strong. Gets fouled and still finishes the shot. A lot of guys would quit on that shot. He finishes the shot. Very good offensive player as well as great rebound. He's legit for Maryland. Curry has taken a seat for Oklahoma. Well, that's one thing about Billy. He'll sub the key players and keep them fresh and come back in with about the 14 to 12 minute mark to get that spurt going again with the press, which keeps them going as far as their offense is concerned. That's about the first thing Joe's missed lately. Settles for the two-point play. On just to Sean Alexander, big, strong, physical rebounder. He's the guy who just checked in to replace Curry. Lewis for Webster. So smooth on the baseline, but he can't roll it home. X three hip and four rebounds in the first half. Adds another one. Great alley oop and a foul. Keith Booth on the receiving end. Are they calling that intentional? Yeah, we got to look at that. Here it comes right here. He goes up there. They called an intentional call. foul. I don't know about that call. I don't think it. I don't think it was intentional. He's just trying to get a piece of it. He goes up. Well, he had his hands. You can't push your hands on a player that's going up for a lob. I credit the official. He was in position to make that call. I didn't see his hands. And it was the hands. When you push a player going up for a lob, that is intentional. It's not like you're following him in the act of shooting. You're trying to allow him not to get that lob pass. Big turnaround for Maryland. Plus, they get the ball. Yeah, they now they got the lead. A two-point lead and possession. Three minutes and 46 seconds out of the locker room. That is as good as a technical foul for Billy Tubbs right now because this will fire up the player and fire up the crowd, and Billy doesn't have to worry about getting on the officials. That could be the spark they're looking for. Booth, look how quick he is. Even though Maryland's moving right now, 
You watch the crowd get into the officials now. It's too much time left in the game for that not to be a factor to work against Maryland rather than help Maryland. Turks on an 8-0 run. Foul away from the ball. It'll be number four on Beat Lewis. Oklahoma foul on Pete Lewis, number 20. That's his fourth personal foul. Third team foul on the Sooners already. Billy Tubbs will have to get Lewis out of there, and he'll have to get on defense when we come back. Big run for the Terrapins. They lead by four. It's brought to life. Generally considered the best guard in Maryland history, John Lucas was three-time All-ACC, two-time All-American. The school's third leading scorer and number two in assists. Now, John Lucas is at the helm of the San Antonio Spurs, and a big Terrapin win brought out some nostalgia. I saw him beat Georgetown the other day in an overtime game. It looked like the old Marlin days, and I'm, it's just, I would do anything to go back there now. Number four all time behind some outstanding players. Walt Williams, of course, the most recent Terrapin career scoring leader to perform at College Park. I tell you, John, I'd like the pace of this game getting up wouldn't and down he, the floor, wouldn't what, he? A, what a great point guard he was at Maryland as well as in the NBA. Maryland right now is on a 10-zip run. They're 6 for 6 in the field and 4 for 7 on the line. Oklahoma's going to step it up defensively here. How about that? Only a minute eight for those 10 points. Well, the intentional foul did that. And make it 12-0 as X re hits. It's a beautiful stop and pop. He has seven. And now the Terrapins have their biggest lead at six. Alexander from Miner. Yeah, Rhodes Willard really went after him. Yep. Miner scores. It'll count. And he draws a foul. This guy's having a career night. Now the crowd gets into it, they get back into the press, and this is where they really try to go after aggressively against Maryland, forcing them into turnovers where they can score. Pretty good power play here. Miner's probably just paying the game of his night. Good baseline move, good ball fake comes up, gets fouled and releases the ball for a three-point play. He's up to 20. That ended the drought. On seven of 13 shooting. He also has three rebounds. And it's a three-point game. Oklahoma playing man-to-man -man again. Loose ball. Anches gets the unforced error. He'll dish for Webster. And another foul. That's exactly what I told you. When you get into that negative situation on an intentional foul, it creates the crowd, the momentum to push it back. And this is how Oklahoma's coming after right now. Pretty good pass inside. Nice steal off the dribble. He just lost it himself. Good penetration, knows he's got help. Good pass back, good penetration to the hole. Again, another three-point opportunity. There's so Jeff Webster. From a 10-0 run, run, here's a chance to get six zip right here, right back. They sell it for five. Miner has it! And they got seven. Oklahoma has the lead. Don't blink, folks. Joe Smith, and he was grabbed on the way in. Sooners asking for traveling. It'll be a foul on Ken Conley. Smith did a pretty good job. He looked out. No, he didn't. He didn't use his dribble yet. Now decides to go to the hole. And as it goes one on one, there's the foul right there, reaching from behind. Inbounds pass. Oh, off his foot. Hip. That was a tough pass from Rhodes. A lot of traffic in there. And he put it at his feet. Oklahoma has the lead back and possession. Long way to go in this marathon track meet. You never know what's going to happen. Ryan Miner. Short. Webster had a couple of chances. Joe Smith has it. Conley bounces off him. Here comes Simpkins. Rhodes looking inside. He's got his man, Mario Lucas, well short, on just the long rebound, four on four. He works through two of them. Miner was looking for Webster. On 
inches. Entry for Conley, and it was Joe Smith with the reach. Well, if he hit the wing, he could have thrown it in from the wing to the baseline, and that's where he forced it down the middle. Smith made a great job getting around for the steal. Down low, they get it to x hip, and he has nine. And the seesaw back to the visitors for the moment. Under 14 minutes to go. Sean Alexander for Ryan Miner. Barely caught iron there. X three hip, three on one. On just the only one back. Hip, Rhodes, and they lead by three. <laughs> is, is this game going, just going from momentum to momentum? I mean, one team gets a run of six, the other team gets a run of ten, the other team gets a run of seven, back and forth. Real good basketball game. Big eight against the ACC tonight. Minor for Anches. High post Conley. Lobbing for Webster. Good catch. Great shot. And another foul. Great high post speed. Looking inside. Read the defense and threw the right pass. Of course it is. Now watch Webster do a pretty good job of sealing up what he likes to do. Coming back in. Good post speed from the foul line down. Now Webster's turning on this half. Yeah. Offensively. His emotion really impresses me. That's just something you didn't see much out of Jeff. Unassuming guy coming out of Carl Albert High School in the Oklahoma City suburb of uh, Midwest City. And now he's having a huge second half, Coach. He has seven already out of the locker room, a game total of 18. And this one is tied up again, by the way. Well, the other factor, Smith has three fouls. If he gets four, there's too much time in the game for Gary to worry about when do I take him out or when do I worry about him getting his fifth. Looks like Conley was hooking him a bit. Pretty good play in here by Smith on defense. Now, the ball went from the point down to the baseline. If they fed the pass to the wing, could have made a better play to go in. Smith makes a great steal. Almost an air ball from Nick Bosnick, who just checked in. On just for Curry. He'll shoot from anywhere. Webster has it. Still, no, it's Conley in there. And would that be Smith? Nope, it'll be Johnny Rhodes with his second. And Conley will go to the line. Conley just off the chicken pox. He hasn't played the last two games. Most players take a year to come back from the kind of surgery he had. The Oklahoma trainer Alex Brown amazed at what this guy did back on the court playing pickup games in three months. Well, considering, you know, you lose the weight, you have been playing, he's back out tonight knowing that this is a big game. And uh, that's a credit to his staff. Great pass. Bosnick and Conley got there late to foul him. And that appears to be number four on Ken Conley. Three of those since halftime. Right. A college basketball double dip Thursday night on ESPN. It'll be Syracuse and BC. That comes your way at 7.30 Eastern, Lawrence Morton and company. And then it's high-scoring guard Damon Stoudemire as Arizona takes on Utah. Arizona, of course, took care of unbeaten Oklahoma State over the weekend with a ball game in Phoenix. And that's your way Thursday. Arizona right now is going to be a threat to UCLA as well as Berkeley in the Pac-10 race. Maryland back up by three. Alexander, there's a tip away. Mario Lucas with good hustle. And the Sooners will get it back with 25 on the shot clock. We're at the Myriad in Oklahoma City. The Sooners home away from home. They led by two at the half after a 13-point first half lead. Maryland's come on strong. The Terrapins lead by three. And Curry hands it right to Bosnick. Rhodes had to switch it to the left hand to get the shot up. But he could do that. He's a real good one-on-one -on -one player, and he knew that time he could get to his left hand. He is left hand, and he knows how to get the ball down the floor. Maryland by five now. Curry over Bosnick. Uses the glass. I asked him about his range. They said he hit a 28-footer at Oregon State. He said two words, unlimited, unconscious. <laughs> that was a long three. 
And then a swish from the left corner, Mario Lucas. They crash at the other end. That's the first dead ball we've had in this transition of shooting the threes. We have a timeout on the floor. Timeout, 11.49 to go, Maryland by four. How do I do? Six toppings for the three topping price of $10.99. Sure, you're the pizza Bigfoot from Pizza Hut, a legendary value. I'm telling you, if Santa covers the ground on Christmas Eve that these two teams are, he'll be doing okay. That's another ex-coach that never had a center. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk to a present head coach, Billy Tubbs. We asked him about his outstanding senior, Jeff Webster, heading for the top of the scoring charts. I think he will join the 2000 uh, point club this year, barring injury. And uh, th that's really, really significant because we've had two, maybe three of those guys since I've been at OU, and, and Jeff fits well with that group. How about that group? Wayman Tisbale, Tim McAllister, Chu Kennedy. They figure if he stays healthy, he can pass the Chicago Bulls, Stacy King, and move into number four all time in Norman, Oklahoma. Off the inbounds play, a set play, and Ryan Miner has 24. Boy, he's playing some game tonight. You can talk about Webster, and you concentrate on Webster, and that's where Miner has stepped up tonight to put the points in there for Oklahoma. Matt Kovarik running the offense now with Simpkins getting a breather. He finds Rhodes, overshot it, there for the backdoor follow, Nick Bosnick. Curry on top, on just for Miner. Sean Alexander. Curry again, way out there for another three. He is back, and that's it for him all since halftime. Terrapins lead now down to one with just under 11 minutes to go, and they'll have 21 left on the shot clock. Last year, Oklahoma shot four out of 20 at Maryland at Baltimore. Tonight, they're five out of 20. Double down, watch this. Bosnick, inside the arc, missed it badly. Curry, outlets, Anches, straight ahead. Nothing on the right baseline for Sean Alexander. Curry had minor open. Forget the NBA, folks. That's way out there. He's on fire. That's, that's the spark they needed. Curry comes alive. He shoots the threes as well as anybody. Sooner or later, he's going to light it up. That was at least a 26-foot jump shot. Here's Rhodes. Throws it away. I was watching Curry in practice yesterday. He is not only a long-range bomber, but he is a very vocal leader, and that's saying something about a guy who's brand new on a team. Well, he, you know, he believes in playing well. He wants to win. He came to Oklahoma to win. He respects the Big Eight Conference. Now we got a discussion on either the shot clock. No, they're going to reverse the call, I think. Bill Kennedy is going to give it back to Maryland, I believe. Now the shot clock is a question after the reversal. Right. But, you know, Curry's game very good offensive player knows how to shoot the threes and he's a streak shooter so when he gets hot he got hot at the right time and hit six big points but right now puts Oklahoma back in this game with the lead by two now this could go on for uh Wait, but but coach who yeah. needs the shot clock in this game no that's what, I don't know their argument <laughs> I mean you have to have it on but it's now, here we go we'll get a little discussion it's about as moot Gary will As say, something can be. Gary will say, Billy, I like your tie and your shirt. That blue shirt really goes with that jacket. See, I told you. Totally and then, and Billy says, well, what, where'd you get that tie? And the referee just stands. He don't know what he's talking about. Well, all the awards of college football are heading your way. For the first time, ESPN will televise the official live announcement of those top awards. It'll feature eight presentations. Chris Fowler, Lee Corso, Craig James for the Subway College Football Awards Show. Friday night, 8.30 Eastern from Epcot Center at Walt Disney World. Oklahoma now really has got a D up. Maryland needs a bucket. 
Well, Rhodes looked uncertain, didn't he? Yeah. And then it climbs out of bounds. Normally, he'll just stop and let it go, but he appeared to be a little undecided. He was hesitant. Oklahoma up by two, 10.05 to go. That's why this is a great game. Momentum just, it doesn't take much for momentum to keep changing. Every two minutes, there's a different spurt by each team. Yeah, it's about 20 games inside you one we're seeing tonight. Ryan Miner. Off to the right, kept alive by Webster. On the floor, Curry. The possession arrow belongs to Maryland. You see it up there next to the Terrapins on the scoreboard. Yeah. I guess they forgot to bring the one for the scorer's table, but yeah. we do have it on the scoreboard. Imagine not finding an arrow in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. Well, we found one for you. handling it hooks one where's Joe Smith been lately but he keeps getting them down when he gets the chances that's 27 we got a tie game again again <laughs> even with all the turnovers Sean Alexander looking for Webster good catch double team help great and that was Booth with the steal the bark says come on let's push it well, what Webster did there was put it on the floor and that allowed Booth to go in and steal it. Should have gone right through Smith. He's got three fouls. Flashing in Rhodes. Boy, he looks strong on that move. And they're going to get Smith for offensive goaltending. No basket. It'll stay tied up. I don't know if the player made the call or the official made the call. Let's see if it comes out of the cylinder. Because if it does and it's on its way down, you can get it. We're still on the rim. Good call. Curry. He wouldn't do it again, would he? Anches has the long rebound. He'll penetrate. Ooh. And he kicks it right into the oh, hands of player. Smith. He knew Hip was down there. Great play. What an outlet pass. That's a big basket for Maryland. You know, you come back and look at this game and say, where was there a big two points? Backcourt, Kavarik tripping up Anches. Well, he's trying to put pressure and deny Anches, and of course he got tangled. That's where the foul. Well, it was good denial. Great block. He's off balance. Smith just looks over his head, sees hip breaking for the basket. Just an easy slam. A big two points for Maryland right here. Turks lead the Sooners. 71-69. Under eight and a half to go. Alexander, there's Curry running off the baseline. And hit off the side. You gotta look inside, get Webster in there. Smith's got three fouls, you gotta work him out. Miner, he'll drive, he'll turn, he'll hook, he'll score! What a move. Is he playing a game of his career tonight? The bar penetrating, Smith travels. Oh, then Miner gets an elbow after the whistle. Well, I, 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 I think it was in yeah, it was. He was just going in, just turn. No way that was a problem. That was an accident. He knows it. Smith knows it. Miner knows it. And Smith wanted to shoot the jumper, but then was, again, we've seen that happen twice with Rhodes and now Smith indecisive about their shots. Under eight minutes to go. Not just for Alexander. Here's Curry. the three. Kovarik with the rebound. That is rhythm. He's off balance. He's got to be open more. He's two for eight tonight. Two for four in the second half. Smith catches it. Webster got ball and he causes him to travel. Great reach by Jeff Webster. And a timeout with seven and a half to go. Hey, why not? It's all tied up again. We'll catch our breath and bring you back to Oki City. Well, you call for this score. You well, stay on the phone for a minute, it might change seven or eight times. Can you believe that after all this, this game is tied? Yeah. What a great game tonight. Look at Ryan Miner. Miner, career unbelievable high. stats. 
He is 11 of 20 from the floor. Perfect from the line. John Alexander still out there. The reserve getting a lot of free time, but he turned it over on good work by Johnny Rhodes. Good, to press, good time to press right now because they cannot move on the inbounds pass. Good time to press by Oklahoma. If they match up, but they're going to let him throw it in. Booth, Pitt, Simpkins. They'll look for penetration and find Joe Smith. Oh, yeah. no, that's not well, fair. Well, he hasn't been around the last three or four minutes. Well, you know, coaches talk about the lack of practice time. Every week, Maryland's adding some new wrinkles to that offense. Digger, we just saw one there. Yep. Having him shoot outside a little more every game. So he's got both sides of the game. He shoots it outside, he goes to the basket, and he hits the ball it's very, very hard. That's where his points come from. Brian Miner, way short with the three. Standing rebound for Dwayne Simpkins. They'll look for Rhodes. Great reverse boot with the jam. Great pass by Leslie. You know, Rhodes doesn't have the offensive night as far as scoring, but boys, he played on selfish and as he played solid defense for Maryland. That's why I like Maryland's team. They lead They're by excited. four. Six and a half to go. Curry. Off the free throw line extended. Sooners have gone cold down. Well, Webster's not going to the boards. I'm very surprised he's not getting offensive rebounds. I think he's a little frustrated because he hasn't gotten the ball inside himself to score. Simpkins will pull it back out. Not just with a reach. Simpkins goes the other way. Carried it on his hip. Good. But was there a foul? Oh, yeah. There was two of them before he got to this one. <laughs> I tell you, he's a tough little kid. You can tell he played at the math under Morgan Wooten. Just keep it going. Sooner or later, referee's got to blow the whistle. That's four on John Anches. And so Pete Lewis, who's their starting two guard, will be back in. Now, Pete's playing with four. He's a good speed and quickness guy, but not much of a scorer. So Oklahoma will have to look to some other guys to get things going in the backcourt. Yeah, but I think Billy's going to make a move in about two more minutes to make sure he gets his best point guard back in the game, even though he just went out with four. Curry will check out. And there's Ken Conley, who's back. He's had a slow scoring night after his big debut with 21 against UMass in 29 minutes. Well, it gives Curry a little rest right now. That, that also allows him to get those guys fresh because he's got to make a spurt run with four minutes to go in this game. Oh, a costly miss. You need those, especially now. We're in the bonus with six minutes to go. You got it. It's crunch time. Terrapins have 16 fouls themselves. The next two minutes, very important in this game. They were looking for Webster that time, and there's Rhodes over the top of Conley. That'll be three on Johnny Rhodes. What they have to do with Webster when he's played like that, if the guy in the wing with the ball would dribble down to the baseline and throw a baseline pass, Webster will get the ball and be able to go up. You can't throw it in direct when they're fronting semi. That's the 17th foul against the Turks, and Ken Conley, five of six from the Lions this year. Stepping up. Another team hitting those front ends. Well, he just came off the bench, so he's not loose. And right away, he's got to get to the foul line. He's not in his rhythm yet. Rhodes. Uh, he can't rattle that one on. Webster way up there for the rebound. Jeff Webster with his sixth board of the night. Minor entry pass. And a foul. Now watch the post defense, but also watch, even with this pass, if Minor dribbled down a little bit to the baseline, he could get that ball in easier with a bounce pass rather than over the head where it's deflected. Fortunately, he got the foul. Now, with four fouls to go, I don't, I don't know if I take him out. He may take him out for a minute or two, but he can't afford to have Smith not in this game when it's crunch time. Jeff Webster, 19 tonight. Quiet, quiet. Rims out on him. Three points the spread with 5.20 to go here in Oklahoma City. Maryland trying to go 6-0. Hip, baseline for Booth. Out on top, Simpkins. He tumbled and missed the three. Hey, Maryland can lay it all on the floor tonight. They don't play again until December 23rd. And they better start guarding Jeff Webster. Nice inside. Great move. Yeah, Maryland goes into their finals next week. One-point game. 
Good Oklahoma time by crowd. Karen Williams. Yeah, that'll shut down the crowd a bit. Well, they get four quick points. You got to make the move. He's got to get a scoring play right now. 4.46 to go. Oklahoma back to within Nine one. It's Sports Network, and it's in a league of its own. Jeff Webster now is a key factor with Smith. Joe Smith, four fouls, good play inside, good post feet to the baseline. Goes up strong because Smith doesn't want to get his fifth foul. And Oklahoma does that. This is how they're going to steal this game. After the timeout, Terrapins have it in midcourt. 4.45 to go. They lead 75-74. Simpkins for Rhodes. He hooks it down to Booth. Strong move and a foul, but it's an offensive one. Wow. And I've got him for five with that one. Well, that was a great timeout offensive play. A great timeout offensive play by Gary Williams. Tough one. Booth will sit down with 434 remaining. Because it's strong. <laughs> tough call, tough play. Gary Williams is smartly knowing that this is an even game, doing the right thing, not blowing his cool, but letting the officials know in a nice way because there's still time for him to get the makeup call. Well, free throws were a big factor last year. Maryland shot a lot of them when they beat Oklahoma 89-78 at the Civic Arena in Baltimore. Now some foul trouble looming for the visiting team from Maryland tonight. Sports Center comes your way next with Dan Patrick and Gary Miller. We'll tell you about some of the menu they have in store for you when this one is over. Maryland hasn't scored in a couple minutes. Lewis. Oh, how about that? His second three of the night. He hadn't scored since about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> And Oklahoma leads by two with 4.19 to go. Maryland just has to stay aggressive. Don't get down on yourself, but because Booth fouled out, just play hard and get a basket. Great shot by Lewis. Simpkins for Rhodes. Down deep hit on Miner. Kicks it for Smith. Lost it, but Hip got it back. Now they refire with 15 seconds on the shot clock. That's Rhodes. Looking up top for him. He hits a big three. Great screen for the three. Got him open top of the key, and he nailed it. What a game we got now. Maryland back up by one. 340 to go. These teams just keep going at each other all night. Great matchup. Minor for Webster. Over Lucas. Minor! What a follow, and he has 28. No one boxed him out. He came from the high post, right down the middle. Great tip. Last time down the floor, when Hip hit that three, that was Maryland's first of the second half. Conley all over Smith, he lost it. Here comes Pete Lewis, three on two, make it four, they've got a trailer. There's Alexander, knocked away beautifully. It might have been called Johnny Rhodes. What a block. Alexander tried to steal. Hip almost slid the pivot foot. Under three minutes to go. Set play now for Maryland. Looking for a jumper or looking to go inside? Hip, free throw line. Rhodes kicks for Simpkins. Moves around Lewis, takes on Conley, and he makes the rebound off the rainbow shot. Oklahoma by one, down to two and a half. Miner over the top, Webster, fall away! Still plenty of time for Maryland. No need to panic. Oklahoma really has momentum now. A lot of confidence. The crowd's in the game. Gary Williams still has two timeouts remaining. Hip for Smith. Help from Webster. The shot was missed. Sean Alexander has it. Lewis for Miner. Will he do it alone? Now he needs a timeout. Maryland needs a timeout. Oklahoma has the momentum. They've just been aggressive, taking it to the basket, and this is why they've got a five-point lead. And Ryan Miner has 30 after another great one-on-one. -on -one.
What do you need? Thumbs. Eddie doesn't speak well for the cuisine. It's not the cuisine, it's the calcium. Sure. How about these? They use aluminum and magnesium. This uses an aluminum salt. I told you. They want the calcium. But they're all in acid. They want the Tums. They all help to fix the heartburn. But Tums has calcium. Something your body needs anyway. All right. I'll go get the Tums. Tums. Calcium-rich Tums. Tums. Got to be the cuisine. Without you, they'd never make it down this mountain. don't show much appreciation, but a job well done still has its rewards. Ryan Miner playing a career game of his life, 30 big points, but watch what he does to be a player that knows how to react to a missed shot. Everybody ball watches for Maryland. He comes right down the lane after he threw it into the post feed to get the big two here. Now in transition, knowing they need another two, takes it himself all the way, one-on-one, -on -one, right to the basket. And this is why right now Oklahoma has an 83-78 lead with two minutes to go. Well, he has equaled his high school average. <laughs> he had 30 a game at Hammond High School as a senior. And what a night here at the Miriam. Rhodes, left side, hip. And he is hitting some huge shots. That was a two, and it's 83-80. Watch the press now by Maryland. They're not out of this. Don't forget how they came back against Georgetown in the last two minutes. 90 seconds to go now. Don't need to foul. Just need to play solid defense if you're Maryland. Oklahoma's got to run a set play. Look to get it inside. Webster. High off the glass, but it's an offensive foul. And that'll be his third. More importantly, Maryland with possession down by three. That was a big defensive play. When you take a look at what, what they really want to do is to go inside. He pushed off. Defense is there. Smith steps in, takes the charge. Good call by the official. Give Smith credit for leaving his man, coming over to set himself. He's got four. He could have risked getting his fifth, but that's why he's got the ball going the other way. Credit Smith for a turnover. Dwayne Simpkins, watched by Lewis. Rhodes, they're looking for hip every chance now. Mario Lucas, haven't heard much from him, and Miner rips the rebound away from Joe Smith. Now don't forget, the shot clock stops on every field goal the last minute of the game. Under 50. Shot clock is at 20 right now. Alexander, Lewis. Conley from the free throw line. He got the roll. Oklahoma by five. Hip for Simpkins. They got to get into it. Lucas. His second miss in a row. Joe Smith has it. Conley rejects. Great block. Great block. Oklahoma all over the boards. Maryland needs another timeout. They got to run a set play and then look to get their press where they get the quick foul. Ken Conley, in your face. Do you dream in color? The way it should be. Center coming your way next and talk about matchups. How about Hakeem and Alonzo battling tonight? The Pistons big late and Otis Nixon headed out of Dixie. Joe Smith to the iron right off the inbounds play and that draws the Ken Conley foul. We know Joe Smith, you know, 945 left in this game. He hasn't scored a field goal. And then he gets his fourth foul. He's a little tentative. But the out-of-bounds play was designed to go to Smith, get the two foul shots, and yet there's still time for Maryland right now to get two points. They're down three. Now you got a foul. Or get the steal. If you don't get the steal, get the quick foul. Get Oklahoma to the line. Meanwhile, Oklahoma smartly must have their press offense ready must be going up strong to grab the rebound so that everybody can get in position to grab the rebound if, if, if we take Smith missing the foul shot. Ken Conley's fifth foul. 
and a huddle opportunity for Tubbs and Williams. Well, this game tonight, Coach, and I know you study the uh, psychology of this game, how teams mirror the personality of their coaches. <laughs> You're talking about a couple of competitors here, oh, really? and their teams have competed unbelievably tonight. Two of the best coaches in the country, Billy Tubbs, Gary Williams, and, and you can tell this was just a chess match because we had the early lead, an exchange, we had ties. We had players doing hey. things. I mean, it's incredible. If this is a chess match, they're playing with hand grenades. You got that right. Smith, 30. Now, Maryland will look to steal or go to the quick foul. Oklahoma doesn't want to turn it over. They got to make their foul shots to win. Joe Smith, 10 out of 13 after that miss. Big rebound, Rhodes. And that's why it was so important to block out on that missed foul shot. Anches hacked foul. in the backcourt. That'll be x ray hip getting him. 17.9 to go, and the Sooners will go to the line. See, you can't assume anything, anything and when you're in a position to know that a guy like a freshman, Joe Smith, makes his first, and then the guys relax to what happens then. Rhodes comes in and gets a great offensive rebound to keep it alive and scores two himself. So it's a three-point play rather than just getting the two on the foul line. Well, Billy Tubbs has the guy there he would like. John Anches, two for two tonight, eight for eight coming in. Perfect on 10 free throws so far. Well, Billy may want to press on this if he gets the foul shots in, only to make sure that you pick up Maryland so they don't shoot the three because the shot clock will stop again on a field goal made. He wants this one. It'll make it a two-possession game. That's right. Got to make the threes. This for a four-point lead. Smart timeout by Billy Tubbs. He's going to set his defense to make sure they don't commit the dunk foul as well as to make sure you get in position to get the defensive rebound. You may want to give up two. Don't give up three at this point and make sure once you get it inbound, pick up somebody and box out on the shot. Maryland, on the other hand, they got to come down quick. They got to take it to the basket because Oklahoma can't afford the foul. Take it to the hole. The shot clock stops. Set up your press again. So now this is where the chess match comes in between Gary Williams and Billy Tubbs. After Sports Center, we'll send you out west to Pullman, Washington. The Cougars of Washington State against Idaho. That comes your way tonight at midnight Eastern on ESPN. Third of our triple header. Steve Fiziak and Terry Holland to call that one for you. Earlier tonight, Indiana, number 12 in the nation, knocked off Notre Dame in Bloomington, 101-82. We've got a... How about Marquette over Illinois? Yeah, yeah that's a big win for Marquette. Great win great for O'Neill tonight. Guys. The great Midwest needed a big win. Yep. That game was in Milwaukee. A tough place to play. Strategy here, as we said earlier. Both teams knowing that it's a chess match. Four points means nothing with 17.9. As we see right now, Billy Tubbs calls a timeout to set the defense. It'll be interesting to see if they press or play half court or even go zone. What they don't want is to commit the foul to let them go to the line, which gives them two quick points. Then Maryland comes back and looks for a steal on their press. Mario Lucas throws it in for Dwayne Simpkins. Inside the arc, a leaner and a hanger, and he's got it. Ten for Simpkins, Oklahoma by two, and he calls a timeout, does Miner, as he was running out of time in the baseline. Very good defensive strategy by Gary Williams. You know, they had it in a position where you went to the hole because, as I said, you're not going to foul in this situation. You don't want to put him in a situation to get him to the line for two easy points. Let him go right to the basket. When you go right to the basket, as Simpkins did, they knew they had a quick, easy score. Watch Maryland's defense. They didn't even go near him. Tuck says, don't follow him. Yeah, you may try to block him, but don't follow him. Now what happens, rather than getting the ball quick, Maryland does a pretty good job of denying up front so that you can't get the ball in, and there's 11 seconds to go. So that shows you what five seconds it is. We still have a basketball game with 11.2. What Billy's doing right now in this timeout, their player is allowed to run the end line so he can get the ball to someone inbounds. Once it gets inbounds, if Maryland doesn't get the steal on the inbounds pass, they will go to the quick foul to force. Even if they make one, you still have time to come down and get a three-point shot to tie it to go overtime. <laughs> you got it all figured out. Coaches, uh, all the scenarios and Sports Center are coming up next as soon as we wrap this one up. And within the half hour, 
Basketball, more coming to you from the West Coast. Well, Billy Tubbs knows who he would like to have at the line if there's an immediate foul here. John Hunches, four of four from the line tonight, 12 out of 12 on the year. He's also added seven points and 10 assists this evening. It'll be interesting to see if Maryland double teams and so he doesn't get it in bounds. They hand it to him. He's got it. And Rhodes fouls him. I, I want to know if that ball was handed to him out of bounds. If he did and didn't pass it, it's a violation. It'll be four on Johnny Rhodes. 1.1 second came off the clock. And that's what Gary Williams was arguing. Did he pass it or did he hand it to him out of bounds underneath? All right. Good foul shooter. If he makes them both. Maryland's got to come down. Still look to go to the basket because you can get a steal and get possession. What you don't want to do is shoot a three and be out of it completely. Long with it. Now the best he can do is put Oklahoma up by three. And with that now, Maryland will change that strategy and take the three to tie. Or kick it back out in a loose ball rebound and take another three to tie. Well, he's got to have this one. Eight for Hunches. He's got to have this one. Eight for Hunches. Got to go with a three. Final ten seconds. Maryland down by three. Simpkins for hip. Short with an air ball. Smith a touch. Miner has it. And Oklahoma holds on to win. For Digger Phelps, Bob Carpenter. Sooners go three and one. First loss for Maryland. And it's a toughie.